Hello, this is Danny from Danny Design Studio and this is April Glass in a Box. So this month it's all about aperture and we are using the lovely Irresistible Blooms um, dies and stamp set. These two fairly straightforward aperture cards and then these are two fancy folds or fun folds and this one sort of goes like this. So we'll be running through all of them. And we're starting off with this fairly straightforward one. So this is the Irresistible Blooms that um, and the dies. These dies are absolutely amazing. This is gorgeous and this is creating the aperture. This just cuts out the card. It doesn't cut out a circle as such and then these lovely leaves we've used as well and I've also used what uh, the papers um, they basically have two returning colors Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock so I'm going to be using these these are two um, colors that are returning in our annual catalog so I'm going to be stamping with those as well and so we'll start off with this one. Now in your boxes, you will receive something like this. You'll receive a tutorial, a paper tutorial. I haven't got that here. You've got two sheets of white card. That's for your um, stamping and also for your inserts. You've got a couple of pieces of flowers and um, that basically you will fussy cut out um, and then you've got four envelopes um, corresponding to each card so in your first envelope you will have the card already cut out so that's gone a little bit that's all right so and then you've got two corresponding DSPs. Inside your envelope will be some little gems and then you'll start, you can start stamping. So on the front, this is the first card, so on the front I've used the same colour, this is a Flirty Flamingo card base and then I've stamped in Flirty Flamingo, I've used the little leaves on the irresistible blooms um, and I've also used this little splodgy thing very technical wording that is so when you're doing that all you need to do is get a piece of paper so that you don't um, go over to the back side of this. So you'll ink it up. I've got Flirty Flamingo and then I'm randomly going to just test. That's okay. If you think it's too dark then you can stamp off. I'll give a few some, some of the bigger images I think just too much ink so this this is a nice small image so I'm going to not stamp off that one just randomly make a pretty pattern over the paper and this piece of paper will be protecting protecting your other side so then I'm gonna do the splodges I'm going to stamp off that one because I don't want it really to be seen. And I think that's it. Happy with that. So let's put this away. Just clean my, my stamps quickly behind 
me. So then the next thing is to cut my DSP and then what I would probably do is do a little white in um, white bit for the greeting on the back but I'm not going to do that because I think you don't need to see me cut cut white card so then you've got this lovely piece in here and then I'm going to cut that to size so that is DSP 14.9 by 10.5 so it's the size of the actual of the actual inside so I want I want a bit of that showing let me just test it and see what it's going to show I quite like so I'm going to chop this bit as opposed to that bit so 14.9 is there and then just checking that that fits to size yeah so put my wet glue on And then from the I've cut some leaves from the paper that's um, been given to you in your little envelope I've cut these leaves but I've already cut some out already so we just need to fussy cut that and then I would put it a bit like that so I'm going to get my greeting there so I'm just going to going to do my greeting first because looking at that I haven't put that on first. So let's get the greeting. Um, so that means you need a bit of your white scrap, for your white card. So I'm just going to cut a bit off there so it's a smaller piece to work with. And what shall I use? Maybe the hello again will be quite nice. So let me just have to see if I can find a smaller. Ah, oh, yes, right. So I'm going to stamp this in Ooh, what shall I stamp it in Lost Lagoon or Pretty Peacock maybe Lost Lagoon because it will pick up the colours from the leaves so just stamp that on anyway anyhow let's clean that quickly And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it with my scissors. Cut it as straight as I can. So let's see how much I want it to come out. So. that a bit straighter so then just going to cut that at an angle so I'm going to pop that on like that so I just need glue on this end that's going to go right to the edge making sure that we haven't got glue coming out there so literally right to the edge and then now I can do my leaves I like this colour actually 
just as a bit of a contrast. So curl these up a little bit and that bit. Glue just at the edge. Same with this. And then that one that way. And then I'm just going to take some of these lovely loose frosted gems. Now these frosted gems have not got any glue on them. So um, you can either put a little tiny glue dot on it or Take your glue dot, screw it up, and it's a bit fiddly. It's a shame in some ways that it hasn't got any adhesive on it. And then do another one. If you prefer using your wet glue, it might be less fiddly and you'll have more time anyway than me. I'm just sort of doing it so that you can see, have a look, see what it's like. Um, screw it up a little bit so it's smaller, otherwise it's far too big. And I think you do need a pair of scissors. And there we go. So that is the first one done. And as I said, you put your greeting on the back. So that's that one. Now number two is this gorgeous one. So, um, if I get my little packet out, the so number two is like this. You'll have it. So you'll have your aperture already cut out, but I'd like to show you how to do it. So I've cut my card base already. I've stuck my DSP on the top. You've got an envelope, you've got a die cut within the envelope and you've got two DSP bits of card. Um, DS, yeah, bits, two DSP bits. Now I've stuck my DSP on and then I just wanted to show you how, if you ever wanted to repeat this card, how you would do it. I've got the beautiful shapes dies and I've got the largest sort of hexagon shape. This is currently going to be retiring, which is such a shame. I hate it when things retire. I like new things coming out, but I don't like things retiring. And there are some things that I will always, always keep. Right. So then I'm going to put that through my die cutter so to do that I need plate a thick plate one plate two and the two clear three plates so that will go through there with my post-it note and I'm not going to put the whole thing through once it's gone through hot, most of it, and I hear it, yeah. So I wouldn't put the rest of the card through because sometimes with this, if your plates are really used and loved well, then sometimes that comes out onto the card and I don't want to mark the card, especially if the card is white. What you can do if you do need to make it go through 
is put a little bit of paper over the top and and it should protect it so that's that one then that can be used for another project so then you have your little aperture so I'm then going to put this paper inside as a contrasting colour and I just need to find out what DSP 14.9 by 10.5 14.9 so again this covers the whole thing so you would need to put your your greeting on the back a white insert not an insert a white um, white card on the back so that's why you've got two large pieces of A4 just in case you need it and then inside the envelope is this beautiful die cut piece and I just put it over there like that just get some organization here it seems like a clutter and a mess so what I usually do is put a little bit of glue, silicone mats, they're brilliant if you want, don't want to get glue on your paper. I'm just going to put a bit of glue at the ends, trying to aim for these little white, um, little round bits. So you don't want it in the middle, you just want it at the ends. So take it and pop it down. Should span the length or the height of the card. It just gives you a little bit of texture on there. And then I need a greeting, which I'm going to do in Pretty Peacock. So I think I'll keep to the same thank you, I think. Thank you, yes. So that's too big, really. Let's see if I've got a smaller one. So, pop that on a scrap bit of card and you can see how beautiful this colour is. Some of you might remember Pretty Peacock but it was absolutely gorgeous and I'm so pleased it's come back because we've lost Evening Evergreen which is a lovely Christmassy one. So Pretty Peacock will just be stunning for Christmas. So then what I've done is I have actually fussy cut. And I know some of you will groan at this, but I quite want to keep that aperture and I want to include... Um, a greeting in there somehow so I thought the best way to do that and this thank you is is quite a nice thick sort of font to do that 
but if you wanted to you don't have to do this you could just like I did on the last card just stamp it onto a piece of card and um, it comes across <coughs> or you could have it down here it's entirely up to you but I I don't mind fussy cutting I like it I find it quite therapeutic actually same with die cutting I think people don't like die cutting particularly and these especially intricate dies it sort of gets stuck and you just spend forever trying to pick at pick all the DSP or card out and sometimes it can be quite hard but I quite like it so then again if you're going to put a strip of your greeting don't forget it only the glue only comes onto this side so put that one there and that one there so going to go there and that one there and then dot it around and to do some lovely little gems so again put that so I'd pick up the green and the yellow in this. Doesn't want to get off. And then probably stick it onto some of these, these little groundy bits. So just like onto there. If I could cut a glue dot in half, I would, because I don't need as many of these. Poke it under, it will go. And then maybe another green. Usually I only do three or odd numbers I don't know why I've done so many right so that is that one I just have to make sure that nothing is no glue is on there so that is that one that's card number two and then we come on to the fancy folds so let's clear the desk a little bit so I can see what I'm doing so fancy folds this is card number three. Now, in your little packet, you've got your DSP. You've got your fancy fold already folded and some little die images and then what I'm going to do is, this is from the Flourishing Florets, which is unfortunately retiring, which is a bit of a pity. Um, so this will go over here like that. And I'm just going to glue that on while it's just have to really control your glue because you don't want it splodging out too much so just little dots everywhere so I'm going 
to leave, take that out and then just creating a nice frame around like that. It's always best to open it up because otherwise you'll you'll get glue possibly on the insert there. So that's that bit. And then going to put these two are the same size. So let me scroll up and find out. Card three, basic white. Um, DSB nine by fourteen point four. So nine fourteen point four. And then that is the same. See, we've just got a little white border around as per usual when I do my cards. So that will go inside there. goes in the inner pa the middle panel so you'll see that there is two score lines on both sides that's not a mistake um, intended it to be like that so that you could get a little bit of a shadow box image let's just burnish it a bit more Originally, I was going to make this into a little shadow box. Um, so that's why you have got two score lines there. I thought it was just something different. So then that will go on there. My DSP. And over the top, I'm just going to pop that on. Now this is going to go flat against the card because the flowers that I'm decorating it with is going to be raised. So that will go there. And then I've got these little die cuts. Um, I'm going to do my little sentiment, which will be this one, I think, because I quite liked that one. Um, couldn't be happier to have you as my friend. So that is going to go on a piece of white scrap again and again that's in pretty peacock it's going to pop that down there may not be straight but it i'll put that in lost lagoon never mind it doesn't matter still goes so then just because this is slightly longer and this one I've done slightly at a narrowing angle hmm, not that way that way so it's sort of parallel to that 
it's sort of like a wedge type thing so then I need to get me flowers right so I'd like a smaller one I think a yellowy one and a pink one and I'm going to screw it up a little bit get a bit of dimension on that remembering that my sentiment is going to go there got glue on my hands and then just put a bit of glue in the middle so, and just position it but that's going to go there And then this is going to go on dimensionals because I'm basically going to poke the leaves around it. I don't want to put too many dimensionals on here because I want the glue, I want the leaves to sort of slot in like that and like that so I would just put glue on the ends again poke it in And the same with this. Actually, do I want that there? No, I want that there. It's too much all in the same place. too much glue on there and then there that will do and then get your lovely little dots let's put glue on this one now okay so got a lovely turn it the right way up Oh dear, this is painful. <laughs> is it going to work? Just a little bit. Right, I might not torture you with watching me do this. I right, just want to see what it looks like. Oh, I think the Blue dots are easier. Okay, well, I'm not going to do any more, but you get the picture. I'll do a yellow one there and a few little tiny ones, but I'm not going to let you see all that. So basically, a bit like that I would do to finish that off. Okay, so that is your third card. And then last one is this one so we have got that on the front panel this on the middle panel that's your inside where your greeting will go but we need to decorate this panel so that is on the back side middle panel so I'm going to start with decorating that so that is my card number four inside is all your little die cuts i'm going to take all that out and so paper die cuts 
So I'm going to start with this panel, okay, in the middle. So first of all, get a bit of paper. So pop, pop it there. And then this is in soft sea foam. So I have got soft sea foam. If you haven't got these colors, you can use things like Versamark. Um, Versamark will just pick up the natural color of the card and make it slightly darker. So you, you'll just have a slight um, sort of darker image um, on your paper and it's quite, quite nice doing that. I'm just trying to make sure I clean my stamps. Okay, so again, doing this randomly. I think we need it's a bit too if it's stamped off it's a bit too light. So this bit is where the um, where your greeting is going to go. So then get my greeting, and while I've got the ink out. I'm going to get the Blurty Flamingo out again and what have I got? Hooray it's your day. So pop that in the middle and then I'm going to just decorate it with the leaves outside. And if you haven't got this stamp set, you don't need it. You can use whatever you've got. Um, you've got sort of little small images. It's quite, that will do perfectly okay. So, <clears throat> put that away. So now the next thing is we're going to pop it there, but I want to see where it's going to go. So I have raised that on dimensionals. cut out inside so just going to angle it up so that I the camera's in the way that's the thing I can't put my head there it's just going to go roughly there and that will do because you're going to cover it up a little bit to some extent with this so that's going to go on the front panel I'm going to, this will already be pre-cut for you. Um, and I'm just going to pop that on this front panel here. And again, you'll get a little border around the edge. But it will go over sort of the middle bit, so it's quite can just about see that. So then you've got your middle middle bit. So that is um let me quick have a look. I've 
lost my laptop image. So nine and a half by five. Oh. 14.4 by 9. So 9 by 14.4. And while I'm here, might as well get a little insert out. So that's again 14.4. nine we've got these little strips here so I would do some little strip might as well use it we're gonna either have that side or that side so it's 14.4 to go along the side of the white white card to go along with the greeting so I will just pop that on there Oops. And you can put I put two strips on the other one my first one so it's just using up the DSP really. So and that's ready to go in there. Like so. doesn't take long to actually do these cards so that's where you can write your greeting now then what I've done here is decorated it a little bit with these lovely leaves and I've actually on here I put a little sponge dauber on to create a bit of texture so <clears throat> but if you had that you could easily do that and again I'm going to create some dimension with this so how you apply this is you have to just be careful that you're not going over and put putting glue on that edge so it will go into the aperture so I would put glue right in the middle and I know that it's not at the edge so it's there so I'll just pop that there and then this one sort of more to that to one side so I know again it's not going to go towards that edge and then sort of fit this in or however you like really I'll just put just glue at one edge so that can go there that will probably go in there I mean you could if you wanted to put this one that's in front, this flower that's in front on dimensionals to raise it up if you wanted to as well and you're not too bothered about the postage and I'll just put one on just to make sure just 
because it looks quite fancy. Put a pink one on. See what that looks like. There we go. So I would decorate a, a few more on there. I'll just show you one for now. So there we have it. These are your fun folds. Two fun folds. That's the ones that I've made here. Two fun folds and two normal aperture cards. They're not fun folds. There we go. I retrieved them at last. So thank you very much for joining me and thank you for purchasing Class in a Box. And I hope to see you next time.